Hi, I walked to my playthrough of Half-Life Source, Lambda Fortress Community Extended, played as the soldier. And this is Chapter 4, Office Complex. Right, so we're in the lift, and what's that noise? Give them hell, boys! Move out! Oh, yep, that makes sense. That makes sense when we hear scientists having a pretty bad time. And also, this is electrified, I forgot to mention. Because if you go through there, you will take quite a bit of damage. So I'm just going to go through here and introduce the next enemy that the game introduced. So we got head crabs, hound eyes, and a new enemy called the barnacle. And fellow scientist. yeah, fellow scientist indeed. Yeah. He's meant to drag the scientist up, but they're kind of bugged. And yeah, if you see me play Half-Life 2... They are just about as bugged as this, but at least they can pull the enemy up, but they get stuck around there, so... Yep, that makes sense. And also they can just go through the ceiling? That's not fair. I wish there was one calling out hacks. Now, I don't want to touch that either, because I'm genuinely scared I'll softlock. I'm genuinely scared if I touch it. I'll stop moving, and... Yep, I can't move at all, even if I do kill the, head, uh, the barnacle. So, turn off the electricity, you just that and over here it's turned off which is good it, i don't think you have to do that but it is a good idea because you will take quite a bit of damage if you don't and just smash your way through there to see dr newell scheduled chaos theory r d at dal 101 so i guess this is his um laboratory i guess dr newell sounds like an interesting guy i wonder if he's based off a real person <laughs> <coughs> It's the same that his laboratory is full of water and it's all electrified, so don't stand in it for too long. And be sure to turn off the lights. Because that turns off the electricity, by the way. I bet it's him right there. That poor Dr. Newell. Anyway, I know I haven't played this game in a while and it evidently shows. Because I, you know, died here. Which we don't talk about. So, yeah, watch your head, as they say. I can't remember what they say at the Edinburgh Dungeon, but they said something like, um, watch your head because the ghouls, like, want it off or something. So it's sort of like that, watch your head, otherwise the fan will <laughs> grab it or something. Right, stop it. More head crabs. Knock it off. Right. Let's get through here. I think it's a one-way door, so instead, I think we might do is push this, like so. You get back up there. I want to be sure it's through here, because I can't exactly remember. I think it's the way back from where I've been. Yeah, this is Dr. Neil, so... You want to go back? There we go. But I don't need to go back to Dr. Neil's office, because... I want to get up there, I think. Then I want to push these... Ugh. Like so. So I can get back up there. <sighs> Come on. Right, I want to get up here. I bet I could rocket jump, but I don't want to take damage. That's all, really. That's the real downside of rocket jumping, is that you take damage. I know you can have the rocket jumper, but why else do I actually need a working rocket launch, if you know what I mean? Because there is a... Yeah, ceiling turret. You see why I want an actual good rocket launcher, not just something that's just like, oh wow, you could play as troll drew, I guess. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's bad. I want to try and take that out. It's because the rockets fire slightly to the right, I think. So yeah. Good thing I took that ceiling turret out without taking too much damage, even though I got 200 HP because I'm the soldier. Anyway, I think you turn it off by just flicking this, but I already killed it, so... Hmm. Go figure. Go figure, I guess. You were loud and ugly, and now you're dead. Amen. I agree. He was loud and ugly. Especially the former. Anyway, I'm gonna go up here. The headcrab AI isn't that great. I don't know if it was that great in... Um... Half-Life Source? I can't exactly remember now, unfortunately. But, yeah. Oh, security guard. Yeah, let's go. Can I kill you? Nah, I can't. Sad. 
Anyway, there's some more vortex bolts in here. You are you are oh, look. Look at those two. What are they up to, huh? Anyway, enough messing around because there's vorticons right here. We'll whack him with the frying pan. They also deal quite a lot of damage, and a crit from them can be quite devastating, so watch out. So I'm already at 64 HP, and I don't want to get hit by them. Right, try and take them out of the rocket launcher. Right, any more around? No, I think they're dealing with the. Um, what are they doing? Scientists. I think they killed the security guard. Oh, wow. I wonder where they are. Alright, probably should have broken the glass with the shotgun, but oh well. Anyway. Head crab. That's not great because I'm like 64 HP now. And I think even just like hitting the floor at like, you know... <laughs> from one meter high up could probably kill me. I hate when video games do that. You like fall from a slightly high place and you immediately die. That's why it's been a thing since like the original Donkey Kong, to be honest. It's so annoying. Can I turn this lamp? Nah, no, I can't. I didn't remember there was a lamp then to begin with. But I do remember there was a Vortigaunt right here. I think there's more over here. Oh wow. So I remember some things about the game, but not everything. Now I destroyed God, the vending machine, which is... Live, he would not have created me. And I destroyed the vending machine, because that's bad, because I really need a drink. Oh, oh, I agree. I do not forget... I do not remember there was two of them. I remember there was one of them, but not two. Sorry about that. Oh, another fellow scientist. I overheard a secure access transmission. Soldiers have arrived, and they're coming to rescue us. Of course, I have my doubts that we'll live long enough to greet them. Affirmative. Yeah, I agree. It's not like I'm the soldier right here. Push. Oh, done it. I destroyed the bin. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, can I? Glad to oblige a fellow scientist. Yes, thank you. I don't know if I need the scientist. I don't think so. But I like to have him with me. And there's a... Wait a minute. Responsible for this mess? Alert! I forgot I even had the sentry button, to be honest. I just remembered right now for some reason. Head crabs! I got hit by like two head crabs and survived. Where's the third one? Dude, stop. Done it. He broke my scientist. You okay? Bro, you okay? Now he's gonna go constantly go bleh, stop all the time now to no end. All of this, you know. all of it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is explosive. A box labeled explosives. I wonder what happens if I shoot it. Oh, that happens. Wouldn't you like to get one of these blood samples under a microscope? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, more water gods. Forgot about them. Yeah, no, agree. No, no, no. This scientist is bugged. <laughs> no! I, I'm not angry. It's just <laughs> medic! No! Medic! Uh, it's like two brain cells. No! We, <laughs> the soldier and this <laughs> scientist share two, share this one brain cell. You have medic! no idea what is going on, do you? Affirmative. Medic! Medic! We, we share two brain cells. I yell medic, he yells stop. Anyway. No, so I think you get a shotgun here. Am I wrong in saying that? No. We do get shotgun cell shotgun shells. You gonna open that? I'll stay here. No, I don't think you can open that. Yes, let's go. Alright, so I think you meant to open this door as scientist, but not the, the security guard. Hey, what the hell are you doing down here? Get topside. I hear troops are coming in to save us. Yes. Okay. Why not? Didn't want to die alone anyway. I think that's what I meant to do. I can't remember now. I know speedrunners like annoy this guy. They make him angry. See that thing with the, the 
But I can't do that, by the way. Just want to point that out. Anyway, I think there's some head crabs down there. And I think there'll be a bull script. No, there's a zombie down there. Is that scientist running towards the zombie? I hope not. No, he's freaking out now. What if we get the scientist to open the door? No, no, stop, stop, stop attacking the zombie. I want the zombie to go over here. And I um, messed that up. I was hoping the scientist would open this door. I don't know if that's what he meant to do. Wait a minute. Can I open the door? I think that's what I meant to do. I, I'm so sorry I can't exactly remember all this. This is the first time I've played this game in like four years now, I think. And even then when I first played it, I only played it once. Alright. I don't know why these two are in absolute agony. Also, I'm running out of ammo, which is very bad. So I might have to resort to whacking things with the frying pan. And that's necessity, by the way. That's not just me whacking it for fun. This is like an actual necess necessity right here. If I don't do it, uh, you know. Alright, and also there's a bull skid right here. Around the corner, I believe. That's a head crab, not a um, bull squid. There we go, this is a bull squid. I'm gonna try and take him out with the melee. Yeah, boy. Bull squids are tough, especially if you try and melee them like what I did. Because their melee attack is vicious. I know you can, like, quote unquote, tame them with the, you know, the skulls. Wait, what? This is a pile of meat full of skulls? I'm sure, that's a Half Life source quirk. Alright, come on. I'm at 90 health now, which is not good. I don't know if this still works, the, 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 the quote unquote taming of the bull squids. I hope so, but I'm not going to try it because I already killed them. And they look pretty angry when I met them. And I'm now at 80 health, which is very bad. So, yeah. Alright, so what you meant to do, in fact, is I would just kill them at first if I were you, just to be on the safe side. And then enter through this vent. And take out the head crab before they. <clears throat> he still hit me. Wait, I know what I meant to do now. I think he meant to activate this first. I'm sorry. Right. He meant to activate that. Can I get back up on here? Then it. No, I can't. Sorry. About that one critical step I missed. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Right. And stop it. The containment system is completely failing. Yeah, 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 I know. I know about the containment system. Don't worry about it. Right. So I meant to do is go through here, go over there. Be sure to flick that switch, which I did not, because I forgot. Sorry about that. And he meant to ride this over to that vent or duct to whatever it is over there. And don't get crushed. I nearly got crushed. That would have been terrible. You can get crushed by that. I know that for a fact. Alright. This is the reason why I want to take out the bull squids. Because they can spit at you when you're up here. And that's very annoying when that happens. So yeah. You don't see I haven't got much room to work with. So good luck trying to take deal with that if you had them still alive. Anyway. Just gotta go through here. Head crab. I had a feeling there'd be a head crab, but I just didn't say it because I was too sure. And also some nice armor, which I definitely need. Got to mention that armor counts towards overheal. If you played TF2, it, the medic overheals you, but in this game, if you collect armor, that technically technically counts as an overheal when you're at max HP. So yeah. But since I'm not, it doesn't count. No, so these guys are broken anyway. The tongues don't hit right, don't go right to the ground when they should, but they don't. So yeah, that's a Half-Life source quirk, by the way. So it's nothing to do with Lambda Fortress being weird. Anyway, just gotta keep going through these vents. Not much else to say really. But hopefully. When we get to, we got hostiles. I joined this team just to kill maggots like you. I don't. I can't see. Oh, the, I can see. I, I can't see the vent vent torn. Sorry about that. As I was saying, when we got to, we got hostiles. The game should 
pick up pace, pick up the pace really quickly, to a point that I'm not going to be using like the stock stuff. And I don't remember this being here. I don't know what this is all about. I'm sorry. I haven't played the game in a while, so I'm kind of apologize, <coughs> apologize for not exactly remembering stuff. I don't know if there's a change they did in Half Life Source. Sorry about that. But I swear that wasn't a thing before on regular Half Life. I haven't played the Source version. I've heard it's broken. So the very early seizure warning and all that. I was meant to open the door with scientist, but he wasn't willing to open it. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I'm so stupid. I had a brain fart thinking this was meant to work, but then it didn't. And it was meant to, but then oh, I don't know. I haven't played this game in forever, dude. On the cavalry finding us down here. Head for the sir, surface. Yes, sir. Head for the surface. Let's go. Elevators are out of order. Done it. Stupid elevators out of order. Also, there's quite bad feeling about this. Yeah, I have a bad feeling as well. Anyway. I think there are quite a lot of zombies in here. And also No! Uh, in the original game it can actually make you go back in here. Which is pretty funny. Alright, stop it. I still got no ammo? Oh don't worry, I got some more ammo. I wasn't paying attention, I'm sorry. Keep my ammo's universal, so that means if I collect this. It counts towards my rocket launcher and my um, shotgun. The so primary and secondary ammo regardless, so which is something I want to point out. In older versions, I don't think that was a thing, so that meant you could have run out of ammo very quickly. But yeah. Okay, bro. Let's see some magic on him. Magic on him. Then it didn't work. Right, and I think... Oh, look, it's a G-Man. Yeah, let's laugh at him, why not? Where did my frying pan go? I just realized this. My frying pan's gone. I don't know it's there, it's just not in the player model. Right, so what you meant to do is you meant to get across there. But I'm not going to do that because I'm the soldier, but... Okay, I might have to. I don't know if this is a good enough running start. Because I'm nervous I might just die, so I might need to do a rocket jump. There we go. That was good enough, don't worry. Oh, really? <laughs> I know he can't kill a scientist and he can't knock him down with shooting the gun, but I wish he could. That would be pretty funny. You're going to fall down now? I love how he disappears. You don't even hear his like spine break or something when he falls down or his rib cage smash. He just sort of disappears. I don't know if you saw that at the bottom of the screen when I was taunting. But yeah. Alright, I wanna get up here. And it There we go. We're back in the elevator and I think that should be it. And it I think the map's meant to change around here, I'm pretty sure. Oh well. So I guess the map does change, but also sometimes doesn't, so... Hmm, sorry about that. Alright, I'll have to be back. BRB. Right, so that was Chapter 4, Office Complex. Um, I want to point out right now that the version I was playing is very outdated, and I promise you, in the next chapter, I'll try to play the latest version, but there's no guarantee because... The devs are like updating this game like every day and that's not even a joke either. And it's not just like really minor like localization updates. Okay, some of the times it is, but other times it's like very substantial bug fixes in that. It's kind of amazing to be honest. I wish they would do that with, you know, Team Fortress 2, let alone Half-Life Source. The game I'm playing hasn't received an update in over 10 years, but this like fan mod that lets you play as the mercenaries has updates like every single day. What's up with that? <laughs> anyway, jokes aside. Um, there's not much to say about Office Complex other than I like the Dr. Newell reference. Even when I first played this game, I thought that was pretty funny, which I find baffling because I thought I didn't know who Gabe Newell was, but apparently uh, I must have done for, for me to, well, recognize that Easter egg. But anyway, see you in Chapter 5, which should be the latest version. If it's not, I'm very sorry. These recordings do take a while to upload, if you haven't already guessed. But anyway, the next chapter is We've Got Hostiles, where the soldier, I guess meet some familiar faces 
not so familiar faces? I don't know. So I guess see you then.